awful. Mr. Hanajack? That's right. I'm John Pilgrim, or what's left of it. And gentlemen. This is Mr. Hanacek. How do you spell it? He is with the American consul in Manila. It is my earnest hope that he has been sent here to take over this tour. And I calculate that after he has been with all of you for minutes, it would be his earnest hope that this tour is canceled and you will all go home. I'm not going to take too much of your time. I'm going home, I, uh, going home. Uh, Sonny and Cher over there. It's intermission time. Well, now, you got the authority to stop this tour, Hannah Chet. I've got the authority to confiscate that guitar and then feed it to you, strings first. Wow, this is a serious cat, man. All right, now, young friends, I'm going to give you the bottom line. We can continue this tour as planned in the itinerary. Or we could chop it off right here. Now that's going to depend on certain answers to certain questions. Let's start by figuring out the ground rules, Mr. Hanachek. We were told that this tour was strictly a cultural exchange thing. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. Mr. Pilgrim's idea of a cultural exchange is a fast ride through a Hong Kong slum in an air-conditioned bus. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And when we had our press conferences, out came his stopwatch and the gag rule. Suddenly they were all political analysts. Oh, instead of a collection of display cases. See, the American kids, happy, wholesome, scrubbed, and dumb. That's yeah, it. Yeah. What's your name? This young lady is Susan Bradley. It happens that her father is a United States senator, which has not prevented her on several occasions from absenting herself without leave to go God knows where to see God knows who. I have spent half of my time commuting between back alleys and grubby little jails trying to round them all up. Mother hen complex, right here. <laughs> Last name Lee. First name Robert, middle initial E. You whistle Dixie and he turns into a mint julep. Well, now you got emancipated, boy. What more do you want? Lord, did I forget to thank you? Yeah. Hey, 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 now come on, just hey, lighten up. With some rules of his all the time. Man, we had bed check every night. I felt like I was in training. We had bed check because I had to make certain there was only one to a bed. Oh. What's your name? Oh. Yeah, Wilson. They call me Bull. Harold W. Football Scholarship, Ohio a and Is that right? Yeah. Two years. And a third one coming up. What about you? Identify yourself. Eugene. But they call me Bones. Last name's Washington. As in George? No, baby. As in Booker T. I'm the house Afro-American. Self-appointed, Mr. Hanacek. The little chick with the big mouth is Uncle Tom's niece. <laughs> now, the State Department, and this is official, is very concerned about the image you've been leaving behind you. We can use the chartered aircraft at our disposal to continue the tour. Or we can fly it back to Manila, send you all home. Now, we're perfectly willing to continue the tour. If we can get your assurance that there'll be no more incidents, no more public displays. Uh-huh, I see. It's martial law and curfew time. And stop me if I'm wrong, Mr. Hanacek, but I think we got used. Yeah. 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 A 20,000-mile first-class jaunt through the Orient, every tab picked up by your uncle, and that's your idea of being used. Huh? 
can we split this group up into two sections? Us in one half and the kooks in the other. Well, now look what suddenly become the voice of reason. Who tore down the Russian flag over the embassy? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't do that. All right, who gave out all that junk about our being imperialists on that TV show in Hong Kong? Yeah, baby, but that's not this. No, man. Don't worry about well, you got it. All right, you got to do it. Meaning what? Meaning, I think you better get your duds together and get ready to move. We'll walk out in single file to that airplane out there and be on our way. On our way to where? Back home. You can then pick up the threads of your own special personal crusades. In short, young friends, at this point, all of you and those of us representing the government of the United States are getting a divorce. day grooving with my old man simply because uh, he doesn't come on like a father. My husband has a, a great sense of style and I like that. My father is sort of, uh, he's not old fashioned. I not only love him but um, I also like him very much. Tell him what you think of him. Give him Brute. Brute by Fabergé. Ah, uh, here's a homey little breakfast vignette and guess what we're starting with? Okay. Minute Maid, the best there is. Minute Maid orange juice. They really do it right, Minute Maid. They use the best oranges, so they get the best juice. You bet. Look at that. Now pass it to your brother, Harry. Nice flagon of juice for the pirate. Salute. Hey, save some for Dad now. Minute Maid, the best there is.
radio. Communications expert says it can't be fixed. The wires are burnt. There's no power. Oh, no. You have any idea where we are? Do I have any idea? Mister, you're looking at all the remains of an ancient bureaucrat. Navigation was never my bag. Oh. You've got to know where we are. What do you want from me, son? You want me to tell you this is Catalina and on a clear day you can see Los... Los Angeles. Oh, come on. Relax. We must have been reported missing. Someone will have been sent to look for us. Sure. Meanwhile, you better clean out that airplane. You're gonna need it for shelter. You're also gonna need food and water. Well, somebody ought to have a look around here. Come on, little bit. Let's go find ourselves a hamburger joint. Out of sight. We ought to set up a signal fire, big enough to be seen from the air. You're, uh... Potter. George Potter. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're sitting next to me on the plane. Ex-what, Navy? Ex-Marine. Well, maybe you better take over. Maybe we could vote on it. Oh, baby, you're too much. Nine people dead, and this klutz wants to have a skull session in the locker room. God! Miserable luck to be stuck in a crummy out-of-the-way island with nothing but cannibals. Deal? What's it doing here? Stan, you get back to the others. Bring them here.
καθαρά, πολύ. What are you looking at, Mr. Hanacek? The Atomic Energy Commission. Well, I think I know where we are. I think we're on an island called Bomano. Supposed to have been a test site for a hydrogen bomb. They decided to cancel it here at the last minute because of wind currents or something. But, but what about the dummies? All part of the test. Buildings, cars, everything. Hey, hey, look what I found. Food. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at this. It's the cocktail hour. <laughs> Mr. Hanachek, what do you think? What do I think? Well, I think the bag, my children, is full of mixed blessings. How do you mean? Well, there's shelter here. There's food and water. We just lucked out better than we could have hoped for. But? But I think we're a hell of a lot further off the beaten track than I thought we were. I don't think there's an airline route within a thousand miles of here. Or a steamship route or anything else. That's why the AEC picked this island in the first place. Well, what are we going to do? You're going to stay here. You'll eat, sleep, drink, and pray. Because it may be a long time. A very long time. Excuse me. Where are you going? I'm easy to please. All I need is the basic creature comforts. A little quiet, a little booze. There's a piano in there. Ruby, I'll play you some blues. Out of sight. Hey, Bones, you want a date? Well, well. Count me in. Wait a minute. So you're the ones who are going to inherit the earth. Give you one lousy piece of it, and your first order of business is a crying jag in a ghost town saloon. Now, what else we got to do, Hanacek? Bury the dead. Make plans. Collect the food. Check it out. Plan some kind of order. Order? Law and order. Now, I just can never get away from Harlem, can I? Come on, baby. I won't tell the coach. Well, what's holding you back, Maureen? What about you? Me? Don't worry about me. I got the world by the ears, kid. I don't have to worry about what you have to worry about. What's that? I don't have to worry about tomorrow. Makers of High Sea present Going to the Zoo. Hey, look, a baby elephant sure can drink. Look out, Dad! Let's have some lunch and dry out. Hot dogs and ice cold High Sea and new easy open cans. High Sea's made with real fruit, and it's high in vitamin C. It's good for you. That's why it's called the sensible drink. When life gets too civilized, give her Tigress, the most female fragrance by Fabergé. Tigress. Impulsive. Unpredictable. Uninhibited. Always different. Never tame. Tigress perfume by Fabergé. Are you wild enough to wear it? The new people will continue following station identification.
faces were red, white, and blue. Any color TV could give you good face colors. But real face colors are a lot harder to get right. That's why Philco Color TV has a special cosmetic color circuit that gets the faces right. And when you get the faces right, the rest is easy. Cosmetic color at your Philco Ford retailer. It's one of his better ideas. Boy, you got everything. <laughs> wow. hey, tell me, what, excuse me. <laughs> tell me, what, what gives you the your biggest kicks? Well, number one? Yeah, which one? <laughs> Mustang. Yeah. Number one, there's Mustang. Mustang Mach 1 for 1970. Shaker up front, spoiler in the back, and a 428 in between. Ford gives you better ideas. It's the going thing. Get the merit badge, Mr. Potter. For what? Grave digging? For whatever distinguishing impulse you have inside you that sets you apart from your buddies down there in the town. They're interesting phenomena, Mr. Potter. They're all playing it like it's the end of the world. Isn't it? Maybe it's just the beginning. Join me? I don't smoke. Yeah. Tell me something. What is a... What is a hang-up, anyway? Which particular one did you have in mind? Yours. Yours and those kids down there. Oh, thank you. I was born old, Potter. I never had a chance to march in a protest parade or burn down the campus. Last Christmas Eve, Mr. Hanacek, I was in Vietnam. I shot and killed a Viet Cong who was trying to plant a bomb on our barracks. It was a 16-year-old girl in black pajamas. That explains you. What about those flower children down there? I'll tell you about them. They're a collection of everything you guys made us. Bones is the end result of 5,000 lynchings. Bobby, he's from the South. He's got his own civil war going. You ever take a good close look at Bull? Some fat cat alumni sent him to college on the cuff. Nobody taught him anything. He still thinks the enemy comes in different colored jerseys. You get on the line, Mr. Hanacek to find the imperfect images of all the mamas and the papas. And if we cut the scene, isn't that what you call it? We vacate it. If we left it all up to you, what kind of a world would you make? I don't know. But I know the kind of world you made. That's as empty as that phony village down there. It's a hell of a legacy, Mr. Hanacek. All right. Yeah, in the pink. Why don't you go downtown and get bagged with the rest of them? Want to come with me? I like it right here. Phone me if you need me. Mm -hmm. You'll be the first to hear. Better I will. All right, Bull. Where'd you get the gun? 
Well, I found me an arsenal down the street, man. Guns, grenades. Reverend, you still think you're gonna overcome? You get back inside. <laughs> I said get away back inside. I don't want you for no soul, brother. But I don't want you dead either. Better put that gun down, bull. You know you're not gonna use it, so put it down. I'm gonna get him. And I don't care if I have to blow you apart. No! <laughs> now you give me that gun. One black boy on this island that ain't never gonna see home again. I just made sure of that. I made real, real sure. <laughs> at him and you know what else mr bones you're not going anywhere you're stuck you're gonna stay right here now how does that grab you none of us is going anywhere including you now how does that grab you <laughs> Just... Uh, I mean... Well, will there be another plane? No, there won't. That plane will report this island's clear. You just blew it for good. We're all gonna rot here. Do you understand? 
because this dumb all-American yo-yo. convene and I missed it. Did somebody put out a call for vigilantes and forget about me? Where you been, Hanacek? We just got dropped out of the world and this boy here is the one who done it to us. Well then. Do it the way it should be done. You know what I mean. Get a rope. No! No! Why not? This black man here is an expert at it. I bet if we looked up his family tree, we'd find a dozen limbs his ancestors hung from. But you've got to call it what it is. It's a lynching. freedom march I've been on all my life. From no place to no place.
story. What's happening, Mr. Hanachek? Don't you know? Somebody just rewrote the will. You just got left something else in the way of a legacy. You just inherited the beginning. Can I give you a hand? Uh -oh. No need. Soon time. To do what? <laughs> God, they build you kids dumb nowadays. So die, Georgie. You dig? Start a calendar. That'll be easy. It's the year one. There are 40 kids on this cockamamie spit of sand. And as far as we're concerned, we're all there is. If we don't get some rules laid down, we're gonna wind up killing each other. It's like my dear old college campus right now. <laughs> When did we ever have such a chance to be ourselves? Man, we're talking survival. You get me? I mean, you're going to let guys steal your food and you figure to stay alive on this island? Just let them do their own thing. And if a guy's own thing happens to be like rape or murder, we lock them up, right? Right. That is all except one. In 50 years, they couldn't do it. But we can have instant peace. The simple truth about hairsprays. No hairspray at any price can stand up to that. But if you want a hairspray that will hold this, hold it beautifully in any weather, no hairspray holds better than Aquanet. You can pay two or three times the price of Aquanet, but you can't buy a better holding hairspray. That's the simple truth that has made Aquanet the world's largest selling hairspray. Every woman is a little bit Kiku. Just when you think you know her, you discover something new. Kiku perfume is like that. Just when you think you know Kiku, you discover something new. Yes, every woman is a little bit Kiku. And some, some are completely Kiku. Kiku by Fabergé. Problems of man, thousands of 
New People has been brought to you by Fabergé. For the love of life, you look your best. For the love of life, you do your best. For the love.